And we are back for another episode of I Got Drinks. We got a special guest. MM for LJ. How are you? I'm all right, I'm all right. How y'all doing? Man, we doing good, what man. What does that stand for? That's good. MM4, Money uh, Motivated for Life. Okay. I like that. I like that. That's good. Something that was started here since we was little. I was little. I'm going to say okay. probably about like fifth, sixth grade or something. Yeah, my yeah. partner's now had a little, you know, bad Royce back then when they had all the clicks and whatever, but I noticed one thing with us, like a lot of clicks in VR had like the two and three letters. We all mm. had, we had the four letters, so I was yeah. like, different. And then Gotta more family oriented. It's like, man, like, oh, this is my partner. You know, everybody grew up calling each other mama's mama. You know, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. So we gotta stay money motivated for life. Uh, yeah. Always, uh, right? Yeah, always, always. Always. That's the, that's, yeah, that's the goal. Yes, sir. <laughs> man, you got some music you've been working on? Yeah, I ain't lying. I got a. Uh, I got another project I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit them with, but the only thing I just been stuck in between, like what I want to call it. Okay. okay. Yeah. I really had it going. I was gonna call it Mafia Material, but that's kind of like, you know, everybody got that going on. Everybody holler Mafia, Mafia. So I might yeah. change the my material. Yeah. But see, like the last, uh, the last two projects that I dropped, they was like the EPs. I'm gonna do this one like a full mixtape, like okay. about 14 songs. Or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's done. You just trying to think of a name? Yeah, I really, I ain't lying. I got like. Maybe like 30 songs put up. Yeah. Okay. So okay. I'ma just I'm gonna yeah. pick out of them, you know what I'm saying? Cause I've been bumping them like since I dropped them. So and they've been dropped probably like some weeks now, almost a month. Hey man, you sing so, your song without the words, bro. You ain't gotta look at your vocals more. Like like you love them that much, bro? Yeah, real talk. That's what's up. That means you can be fire, y'all. Go check that shit out when it drop. Oh so yeah, you know? What songs you got on there? You got like I got a little bit of everything. Like, you got something for the ladies? That's what I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna stop myself. Cause that's, that ain't, I ain't got a little bit of everything. See, on this one, but the last, um, the Hood Medicine and the Hood Medicine Deluxe, I did. Yeah. Okay. I did a song called Snow. It was kind of like on a, okay. you know, lady vibe. But I ain't you really. About a lady? Yeah, about, yeah, 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 I kind of did it. Yeah, I got a, like, my girlfriend, okay. I'm not in Snow. Okay. But that, um, the way I did it, like, it was like a little cross thing, like yeah. how Gates did the, uh, Kevin Gates did the girlfriend song, and he was talking yeah. about the female yeah. and the guy. Yeah, 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 I kind of yeah, yeah. mixed it up, like I was talking about my girl, and like the game kind of talking to somebody too, you know what I'm saying? So, it was, was not that I done said that, when y'all go back and listen to it, you're going to be like, okay, nah, you know, if you did listen to it already, that's something that you might have missed that, you know, might make you gravitate to yeah, it. Yeah, y'all heard it here. Yes, you know what I'm saying? You got to go listen to it the second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time. Yeah. Make sure you hear what he said. Repeat. <laughs> so you know why you're here today because you know you know I got drink man we yeah. don't really just drink Kool Aid and shit you know, you know that's what be, I am it might be sweet but I'm, it ain't I'm gonna be our friend today I don't really do the liquor but I'm a, you know what I'm saying I'm like yeah I'm so what's your drink on that water, water. H2O well, that's good for you. Hey, man. water Gatorades this will save all y'all has water in it true. <laughs> It's good as hell. <laughs> nah, can't get me like that. <laughs> but like I say, I'm gonna be y'all friend today. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do a little stuff. You know? But I'm gonna I'm smoke it though. I don't really, you know. Okay. Do drink. Yeah, maybe next time we're gonna have like some smoke drink. Some I got smoke drink, you know. Get <laughs> some, some of that, that yeah. You know, get yeah. you feeling good. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. You know. Shit, so we're gonna go, man. We're gonna go jump right in, bro. Um, so since you from BR. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're gonna keep it BR today. Okay. okay. You ever heard of uh, Three Row? Three Row? No. Alright, so Three Row is actually down the street. It's a uh, distillery. And they have, you know, we got a lot of sugarcane and shit. Right, right. So they have their own sugarcane fields and their own liquor that mm -hmm. they make from it. So they make rum. Mm -hmm. uh, we got spice rum today from Three Row Estate. And we'll try this shit out, man. I'm gonna read it right. back right quick. <laughs> they say, Y'all pray for me. <laughs> it's gonna be easy, okay. cause we ain't gonna go, go doing bad, y'all. You just gotta take three, like by yourself. Oh, oh, oh. Of this one. And maybe her, so I don't know. I don't know how she feel. <laughs> y'all pray for me, like I said. <laughs> I'm gonna take care, bro. So at three rows, they say for five generations, our family's farm and sugar mill have been producing some of the finest sugar cane in the world. Mm -hmm. Drawn from Louisiana's Fertile Delta, three row, uh, three row estate spice rum combines their stain to raw of the medley of botanicals, oranges, and vanillas. I think that's what we're gonna taste. The <laughs> botanicals, orange, and vanilla. They enjoy the combination of the artistship and authenticity in every drop. So we're gonna take this shit up. You ready, bruh? All right, now. 
Let's get it. But what's the last thing you drank, bro? Since you don't drink often, what's the last thing you remember drinking? I took it. Man, I ain't gonna lie, now. don't get me wrong. Like, I'll take a little, you know, a little shot or something in there, but the last thing I took a shot of was like some Patron. Yeah. That was the last thing I took a shot of. Okay. Patron. So what's like the craziest cocktail you've had? None. None? So yeah. nobody here makes sure of none? Oh, Trump. And like, nothing. Nah. Man. You smell it, bro? It smell like something my dad will drink on. That's <laughs> good. Throwing this for you, Mo, man. <laughs> So we're gonna do a cheers, man. We're gonna do a cheers to what's your, what's your album coming out? Uh, my name is My Material. My Material. My Material. We're gonna do that. Like, I'm glad I'm saying this on camera too. I'm gonna stick with that. My That's what material. gotta be My Material. Most definitely. Cheers. Cheers. What you think that tastes like, man? It's all right, bro. It's kind of yeah, sweet. Straight. It's like on the. I taste a little bit. Of, I taste that vanilla for sure. Yeah. It got a little, little, yeah, it got a little spice to it. It got a little mm -hmm. spice, but it ain't bad, like, cause yeah. I didn't, like, I didn't taste, like, I'm gonna say Jack Daniels or something like that Oh, shit. that's a different taste, yeah. man. That shit, I don't like how it hit my- You got to have that's strong, <laughs> That's a different kind of level, you know that's what I'm saying? That shit strong, bro. You gonna chase me when I'm a kid, me, I ain't, yeah. I'm not available, dude. So even when you get ready to perform, like, you don't take a shot in that, you just drink it on stage? Roll up. You ain't never roll up. Straight gas. Roll up. Okay. Roll up. That's what's gonna put me in my comfort zone. Okay. Gotcha. Roll up, I'm good. So look, if you had to rate this, 10 being the best, one being worse, what number would you give it since you're not a, you know, real drinker? Nah, I'm keep it real, I give that about a, I give it like an eight, and okay. I'm not even a drinker, like you said, yeah. I don't even drink that shit. Yeah, but see, that's honest opinion right there, man. I'll go with something like that. Y'all yeah, check this out, right? Yeah. Tree Row and BR, St. Philip Street. I'll go high level. We don't say Joseph get... Street, Madonna <laughs> Street. You know? So y'all hold all your friends, none of your friends drink? All your friends drink? Yeah, a couple of them. So what's like the craziest story you have, like what friends? Uh, oh, I know you got see. them. <laughs> Let me see. Cause you sober, you probably the designated driver, so. See, it, it wasn't really, like, nothing, nothing really bad, like, where they just tripped out. It was just a lot of, you know, the regular throwing up, you Yeah, know, Earl. Thinking they could just, you know, go off and, yeah, man. I, it just was a lot of a lot of the simple there. You don't want to call nobody out though, huh? Say, hey, cuz, you can't do that shit no more, dog. Nah, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do it to him. I'm gonna smell, I'm gonna smell this time. I'm gonna spell y'all this time. Let's see, next time, I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna get that video proof and I can, uh, I can put y'all there for real. We're gonna have fun with y'all. <laughs> real talk, real talk. But yeah, wasn't that too crazy? Like, no jumping out the car. Yeah. Right yeah. around yeah. naked or crazy, nah, nothing like that. That's too crazy. So I, I heard that you're from the top, right? Yeah. Man, tell us how it is in BR, man. Right here, that's you know, the top. You know, the top. Yeah, how, right. how, how was it growing up in the top, bro? Growing up in the top, it was like, really growing up in any neighborhood, like, you yeah. know, really, whatever you make it out of, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever type of person you was growing up, and that's how your lifestyle gonna be. If you was yeah. a chill person, video game nigga, you know, you wouldn't really, but if you was, you know, outside and, you was riding and you seen some crap, you know, if you was doing right, what you was doing, man. Exactly. Yeah. I, was, I was on that chill, you know, if it, wouldn't, if it wasn't a dollar, it wouldn't make sense to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I guess that's why I'm so humble now, because I never was, like, round out a little hype young flash. Yeah, like, man. It never really yeah. fazed me. Like, I ain't, I you was like, stay myself. Way, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Real tough. <laughs> you laugh about minding your business. That come with, that come, I'm going to say that much from being small, young, growing up in the neighborhood. Yeah. It's nine times out of ten that you might get into something. You know what I'm saying? So being self-centered, not really self-centered like being selfish, not I don't wanna be around nobody or whatever, but learning how to mind your own business. Bruh, that that's shit gonna big. it's gonna help you out growing, you know that's what I'm saying? Big, growing yeah. up. You ain't gonna really bump into nothing because you don't know how to mind your business. And nine times out of ten, you ain't gonna get in nothing unless you doing it. So real. So yeah. Y'all got some fire corner stores out there? Yeah, we yeah, what's, your, what's, what's your favorite one to go to, man? My favorite one right now, shit. Well, Goose is on Terry Street. Okay. I might go to Jim and Lou sometime, but. Yeah. Alright, with Jim and Lou. Yeah. 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 It's still rolling. <laughs> <still. laughs> yeah, but them my two left. We had one called uh, the Yangs, though, Mama Santa, on the corner of 16th and Bomb Street. On yeah. Side. That one was a real, yeah. real popular store on there too, but she shut down like some years ago. I don't want to say like 08, 09, so. Yeah, any, any snacks or, or drinks you used to get out of them stores, right? Like, as a kid? Shit. Mama's son, drink, I ain't lying, mom. Shit, back then I used to go to Mama's son and get them, uh, 
what they was, but I don't want to say it was not ever, ever green, ever what it was in them, them glass. Ever clear, that's what they was in them glass. She had no. Oh, getting tore up, like no, uh, no, not the liquor, the uh. Yeah. It's a you know the juice like oh yeah, yeah I know uh, the juice yeah, 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 yeah. So like I say, I never was the liquor person. I knew now, that, don't yeah. get me wrong now. The only liquor I done got out of my son. Remember the time when Four Logo was popping? Oh my god, oh, man, we, that was your first time. That was yeah. that was horrible, bro. No, that wasn't yeah. my first time. Like you know, I used to sneak and hit your people cup at the little family functions yeah. and stuff. So <laughs> I didn't, you know, I done got the wine cool. I might go, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. So what turned you? You just didn't like it. Yeah, I just didn't like it. It made me feel like, like I gotta use okay. the bathroom. Like just from that one little shot, I give it, bro. Give me bro another two, three minutes. I'm like, go bathroom break or something. Oh, we gotta hurry up. We gotta go to the shop before we put Yeah, it don't really like it. It keep me like on a, like I be off balance. Yeah. More with yeah. smoke and I just mow in my zone. Paying attention to it. Smoke keeps the level. It's like, I gotta do everything. Right now, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the I might have a, might see something on my phone that might turn my spirit up. Now I'm, I'm uh, drawing, now I'm just, yeah. nah, that weed, I'm just, keep on going. Hey, so let's, 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 <laughs> let's hurry up and get him out these drinks, because we don't want to hurt it too bad. <laughs> Man, we got the drink, it costs 20 grand, dog. 20 grand? 20 Ooh. grand, 20 K. That's what they say. Well, just give me, give me a, 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 Two pennies worth of it. We could do that. We could do that, man. <laughs> nah, it ain't worth twenty grand, but you know, it, it call it twenty grand gold. I seen about it. It's a vodka infused with cognac. Yeah. So I don't know if you know, but cognac is brown and vodka is white. All right. So they mix these bitches together and they got this fire shit. It's really good. Damn. You're gonna you like said it. it right, fire. <laughs> I like it. I ain't gonna lie. I am a fan. I've been a fan of this for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah, once you taste it, you got you know, you tell us if you like it too. You know what I'm saying? Cool, cool, cool. We're gonna keep it light on you though, bro. Let's do it. We ain't here to hurt nobody, man. So why he pours that? You say you grew up like chill, like a chill household. Mm -hmm. Um, so what got you in the music then? Like really just I don't know. That's crazy. Like I had a I always had a passion for music since I was little. Mm -hmm. Like I did a lot of music stuff. I went to music camps. Like Big Buddy oh, yeah. used to have like little music, That's like sick. show you how to make beats and record and mm -hmm. stuff like so. that. So I went to stuff like that. I was in a, uh, I was in a choir too at my grandmother's okay. church. And we went to like, you know, we did like youth explosions and stuff. Gotcha. Like, so a lot of that, you know, turned me on. That's more, you know, youth yeah. explosions would be like a mixture of the, the holy and the hip hop. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Then once again, by me being from the hood, I grew up on a, almost everybody from my hood was, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Was, had something going on with the music as far as the OGs who was really outside, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I always just had a passion so you for just it. liked it. Mm -hmm. And then what made you take it serious then? I looked at it like, I'm gonna do something that I ain't never really. Mm -hmm. I look at it like I done did everything out here. Not everything, yeah. I you know, but I done did majority of everything out here as, as far as taking it serious, like with myself and putting myself into it, except for the music. You know what I'm saying? So I was That's like, shit, I could give it a shot. I mean, ain't yeah. nothing that I could do but get told, yeah, no, in this situation, I put myself in. Yeah, yeah I go through the nose, get to the guests. Yeah, man. most definitely, most definitely. It's okay to get no. <laughs> if you like it, keep going. Real yeah, talk. Sometimes that no, uh, that'll be your motivation. You know, Real. you see it. Me, you know what you're talking about. If you see it, bro. Because he don't. If you see it, bro. Mm -hmm. That'll be your motivation. You can't see your passion. It's because they're blind. It's in you. You know, they can't. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. Yeah. So, so like, who's your favorite rapper right now? Um, right now, besides myself, uh, mm -hmm. got to love yourself first. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, like I really, I ain't gonna say I got a favorite. I've been a little bit everywhere with it, yeah. you know. If, yeah. it, if it, if it give me, you know, it make my head bob, then I'm a bumping. You know what I'm saying? But so like your flow, like who would you compare it to? Are you like in your own lane, or like do you take inspiration from? other rappers and kind of make it. I'm in my own lane, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I feel like, I ain't gonna lie, cause I'm, like I say, I'm doing a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And some of these upcoming artists in Baton Rouge know how to do a little bit of everything, but they be yeah. scared to do it. Oh, they man. feel like, you know what I'm saying, well, I go rap it to myself, might not sound good, but you know, it, it, it's different when it comes to really putting it on wax rather than humming and sanding in your head, but yeah. I don't be scared to do nothing like that. I don't be scared no of that. I ain't scared to challenge myself, so that's what makes me not scared to come up against whatever. You know? So you yeah. freestyle or you gotta write it down? I call it I call it organized freestyling, cause this is what I do. As far as beating, like when I receive when I get beats, like 
I don't really do like the YouTube thing. I like to cook up with whoever I'ma let produce the beat, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Majority of what I've been doing with, like how I be doing with, with Sab, you know, my yeah. guy. So yeah. I get in there, we cook up, whatever vibe I'm feeling right then and there, I'ma write the first bar. But I say organized freestyling because I'm freestyling, but I'm not getting in there and just on the mic and saying something, and, oh, let me hit that, or replay that, and I'm sitting in there, I'm, I'm get while he in there cooking up yeah, the beat, or while yeah. the beat rolling, I'm sitting there in the corner, I'm right. doing everything right then and there, going bar for bar. You know, so I call it organized freestyle because I do everything right there and now. Hey, what's up? Yeah. I like that. Let's go take a smell of this next drink we got, y'all. What you smell it, bro? What it smell like? So it smell like a, it smell like a crown or something. But it gets you fucked up, man. This yeah. the one right here. This is the one. <laughs> Let me tell you, man. Thank if you. I couldn't uh, cognac infusion, yeah, it's fire, though. Fresh. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just hyping it up for you, so you can smoke it be easy for you. I smell, I, I smell you it. You gotta give yeah. me your own opinion though when it's done though. Gotcha. So we're gonna do a cheers for uh, cheers for the antidote, y'all. More episodes on the antidote from every every show that's on here. I like the new thing. You gotta hit the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that one that like a, like a crown or something. Or, uh, no, that one like a Hennessy. Okay. What that? Yeah. What you said that was? Cognac. Yeah. Uh, vodka. Mm -hmm. So it tastes like the Hennessy. I thought that would make it smooth, like yeah. that, that caramel. Definitely yeah. went down. Tastes so. like old Hennessy. Yeah, so. <laughs> with it, I can. You know what I'm saying? But as far as just what a cup, pull me up. Let me. Nah, I mean. Nah, what a smoke. Yeah. What a we smoke. ain't gonna do that. <laughs> hey, you got any orders you've been working with on your album, man? Um, Anything you want to any features you got coming up? Or? Oh man, per well, not the features. Yeah, I got a, I got a couple features I done did. Me and uh, me and just Zay, well Zay, as he say, I'm sorry, my father's not just Zay, it's Zay. Yeah. But me and Zay, A1 Wizard, we got a uh, cut finna come out. Um, I don't really know if I can really speak on this, but I mean, you can I, hold I, I don't you really can hold know too much. Drop, you know but what I mean, it's all good. But me and uh. They got these guys from Monroe. I had came, got a, a, a feature from me and, okay. and uh, Level. Yeah. We got that one. I don't know how soon they gonna drive it, but I done did that. I got a partner named Y.N. Enrique on Instagram, Y.N. Savage underscore underscore. He like a, man, I put him in a category like a mini mob guy. This dude rap, engineer. Do it all, He bro. do it all, produce, he do it all, you know, but I got I got something on his, his cut, but. Okay. I've been chopping it up with a couple of people. I got something in the make. Oh, and, um. I got uh, something with Big Scoundrel and, and King, Grand Opening King, too. We got some cuts that's, that's dry. We got one that's on Savage, a compilation, too, the mob, the, uh, where it belongs to the mob, so. Yeah, that was yeah. up, that was up. So all your songs you have that you've been working on, and putting out, what's like your biggest hit so far? My biggest hit? Mm-hmm. Me, personally, that mob coming through, I yeah. just gotta, I gotta, you know, I gotta work network it, you know, put it in a couple more areas and get it. But I feel like that one gonna be the one that's gonna, gonna grab that attention. Like, okay, that's what's up. Let me see what else he's working with. But once that, you know, once they see that, yeah, they gravitate to all the other stuff and see like, okay, he, he doing this and he, he just don't know, you know, he could get rowdy, but he can, he speak from the heart, talk from pain or however you want. And I gotta, I put a little bit of everything. Like all my mixtapes be like a gumbo pack, man. It's gonna be raw when it's finished. I got a little bit of everything in there. So all your music is true life stories. Most definitely, gotcha. most definitely. And I think that's what that's what got a lot of people rocking out with me. Cause like I say, I you know I've been outside since, yeah. you know, but not outside like I don't know you know. But I've been outside, so a lot of people know me from outside. But as far as the music world, so it'd be kind of shocking like. Oh, oh, he doing it. And then I know he ain't really, you know, I know he ain't lying about he talking about so. That's what make him gravitate even more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that might have come through. Man. Do it. Y'all make sure you go check that out, man. Most definitely. <laughs> That's featured with Mob Guy, too. That's who on the hook on the. We got a lot of, me and him got a lot of, that's what I meant to speak on with the feature question, too. Oh, yeah. Me and him yeah, got yeah. a lot of, we got a lot of stuff. We got some stuff going on, though. So if you can go on tour with any artists right now, Tour. 
Like, how does fifty states? I'm gonna say, <laughs> what you, what you, what you mean, what you mean by on tour? Like, just to I'm here just with them, or I can. Okay, okay. Just like, so I'm performing and we. <laughs> how many people I could bring? Three. Three. All right. I'm gonna go with um, number one. I'm for sure. I gotta for sure. It gotta be somebody like. Oh. oh. <laughs> Shit, that's a crazy. He's doing a good question, Ooh, bro. <laughs> she locked me up with that one right quick. Let me see. All right, I'm going I'm to put Jay-Z out there first. Yeah. Because I look, I look at it like, as far as you say, fit the stage shit. Uh -huh. You've been everywhere. You know it. You know what I'm saying? I gain knowledge from you, and we can, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, you Juicy's probably giving out probably worth it, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm going to say, uh. I want the Kool-Aid, man. Where is that? Somebody like J. Cole. <laughs> J. Cole. I'm going to definitely do J. Cole. J. Cole, he, I feel the same way about him, like, with well, hoes, like, I learned, yeah. you know, and he, he the type of person that do all that, you know, he could get, he could do his, he could stand up in your chest on it, but I can also yeah. fall back and we go, we can ride to this and put the windows down and, you know, I go pick your yeah. girl up, listening to this and let us, all feel yeah, we can do our, yeah, you know? so, the third yeah. person, man, let me see that third person. <laughs> man, that's hard. That's hard. It gotta be somebody like man. Bro, how y'all doing, man? Man, you ain't gotta do it. I'm gonna say future. All right, I'm gonna go with future, bro. I'm gonna go with future, man. Future, Jay, Jay, Cole, and you know, future fire, bro. Most definitely, man. That's a big wild tour. Future, little nigga that hit you on all angles, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's my dude. I ain't gonna lie. That'll be a raw <laughs> We're gonna, um, we gonna cheers to that. We're gonna make that happen. Okay. So, um, we got the last drink. You like apple cider? Oh, apple juice? Apple juice. Uh, no. You like sweet drinks? Yeah, I yeah, Sweet smoke. You want to smoke? <laughs> <laughs> well, we got some, uh, Cool Creek Black Label Cider. This is a seasonal blend. Um, King Creek Black Label Whiskey blended with natural apple cider flavors and caramel color. It is 30 proof, 50% alcohol. And this is like their, um, I guess and this is their Christmas special. Yeah, I don't know how I found <laughs> it. You, couldn't, you know, it's Christmas in July over here. <laughs> but I'll read, the, uh, I'll read the side. Hiking through the snowy woods, skating on a frozen pond, basking in the warmth of a mountain of the winter season. Savor the crisp snap of apple in our seasonal blends of Kings Creek Black Label Cider. A special winter offering featuring our original Smoky Mountains King Creek Black Label Whiskey. Enjoy warm, straight up, on the rocks, or mix. So I can't see myself doing none of the stuff they said on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't they don't see. match. That's Y'all ain't going to skate. <laughs> <laughs> or going to the mountain. I never did none of that. No. I ain't gonna lie, I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to do it. I, ain't, I see I was banging up on a visual too. Nah, Ski? I ain't gonna lie, I get around with it. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna do it. See, I was supposed to do it last year for my birthday. Where you yeah. gonna go? I was gonna go to Aspen. Okay. Yeah. Do it and just. I gotta go down, man, but I don't know what the store is, though, man. Um, I tried it once. I didn't do so well. I don't think I was doing it. You ain't hitting that, man. Oh, I almost fell off the mountain. See, almost, <laughs> wait, wait, the mountain? <laughs> you, only, you, only, you, only, you know you only get one chance, right? We was on the mountain. I made the whole, you know how like, they take the ski lift up on the, um, on the swing and when you get yeah. to the top, you're supposed to like just go. Yeah. And like I got up and I went face first into the snow. Like they had to stop the whole, the whole thing. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Tell me what you're saying. The only way down was to so like I'm skiing and sliding and I almost like I hit the barricade. If the oh. barricade wasn't there, you'd been off the mountain. I would have been gone. You'd been on world stuff. <laughs> They'd have dropped you off the mountain. All I saw was the people running at me. Wait, stop, stop. Stop. How you do that? <laughs> See, I was I like, well, maybe the triangle See, that y'all told me in the training oh. session below. I'm making a triangle. I don't oh, think I would have got up there. I wouldn't have made it up there. I'm too clumsy. That's why I don't go slow. Yeah, I don't play in no slow. We're gonna stay on the ground. So let them all get on the thing. We're talking about getting on the, in the ash. Really, <laughs> we ain't doing snow. 
We in Louisiana, man. We don't see snow. We ain't saw snow in the fucking So y'all need the raisin canes ice cream? I don't know, bro. I don't regular state. I don't know how to, you know, I don't, I'm too clumsy. That's what, I can't, I, like, I can't roll a bit. I can do the full skate, the full uh, I can't wheel. Do none of that. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. I do that. Look, I'm ready to say sick. I don't hurt that anyway. Y'all new experiences. Huh. Yeah. Alright, new experiences all of us, y'all. <laughs> keep forgetting about the bump. So good. Now, keep it real. I like that one better than the new two. What's up? Well, no, I take that back. It's it's just, it got a, it got a good, that might be what? <laughs> <laughs> it got a good the flavor to it though, but see it really depending on what all three of them, it depending on what type of mood you want to go with. You know what I'm saying? Like what type of mood you're in. And... You want to get fucked up, get fucked up, or have a, a good night. Right. 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 Oh, These two of them kind of fuck up right here. This one's going to get you though, because it got all that sweet shit in it. Yeah. I taste the apple sauce. Apple juice. Sauce. If you had to rate that one 10, being best, one being worse, to get out. I get out like a, a seven. Okay. We did this one? I've been drinking, dog. I can't remember. That was yeah, his we favorite. did. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, not, but it's not your favorite no more, though. Uh-uh. That's a new yeah, favorite. See, it's, that, that, it's a battle. A battle between them. <laughs> like I say, depending on what kind of mood you want to go with. Yeah. See, I, I like, I kind of, if, I, if I'm a drink, I'm going to fuck with the Hennessy. I get a little cup of Hennessy, baby. Yeah. That's why I say that one, though, because that one on the, like, the Hennessy, like, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah, I got your back. <laughs> So where can people meet, find you? They want to book you. Um, what's your social media? Instagram, YouTube, all that good stuff. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, and all music forms under MM4LJAYY. My my Instagram is MM4L underscore JAYY2. I got to get with the, I'm finna reopen up another Facebook and Twitter and I just didn't yeah. know. You going to get on TikTok? Yeah, I got a TikTok, matter of fact, same thing, mm 4 lj 2 but I got to start getting active on it now. My yeah. people had yeah, told me that. Um, OnlyFans? Nah. nah, nah. <laughs> you got OnlyFans? I, I ain't gonna lie, you know what, check it out, check it out, check it out. I was thinking about something, because, like I say, I be, you know, tapping in with a lot of artists. Yeah. One nigga had put me on some shit, he like, he got an OnlyFans, this nigga don't drop nothing, but like, his vlogs and shit like that, like shit that you Hey, know, I mean, OnlyFans was not made for everybody else making it out. Yeah, <laughs> bro, but it's, it's just the fact, it's just the fact you just come out and, man, look, yeah, man, my OnlyFans, what are you doing, man? That's the first thing a nigga, yeah, 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 what you doing? They gonna be interested in it. Hey, what do you put it at first? That's how I was thinking about it. But you know, they got they got the big trolling, so yeah, like I say, that might bring up you know, people might want to see all right, what they trolling them about. Let me see what y'all on the fans just like Twitch and all other shit, y'all. I swear, y'all, I'll turn that shit to something else, yeah, bro. It's something else, me. I thought they shut the shit down, I didn't even know the shit was still rolling. I thought that shit was gone, I thought they had the shit saying. But they was supposed to redo it or something, they was too naked on the album, the Mimi they had about it, so yeah. Hey, but nah, I ain't on the only fans. I'm everywhere but there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Hey, make sure y'all follow me at I G O T T R A K Z. And make sure y'all follow me at XOXO underscore U R S Truly. Make sure you follow I Got Drinks TV. Make sure you follow The Antidote. Make sure you follow our guest, MM4L. Um, Jay, don't forget that. Um, but we're on all the social media platforms, all the streaming platforms. So make sure you like, like subscribe, and Follow. That's a wrap for I Got Drink.